get skirted. It's too overwhelming. Yo, yo, hey guys, it's Small Mouth Crush. <laughs> oh, Back at it again. I'm with Epic Eric today. We're going to talk about five baits that you probably never heard of. <laughs> I don't know about that Wait one. Wait a minute, what is that, dude? Go. What is that? We're not going to be talking about that one. <laughs> five baits that actually work Yeah. that you might not know about. Yeah. Chances are you don't. Yeah. We're going to find out that's all coming up. I know there's a lot of ideas. This dude? The Reaper. The Reaper's in the house. Where would he throw this? I wouldn't throw this at all, but... A rig. On a sea rig. Hello. Are we are we, are we? we live again? We are live. Okay. All right, guys. So we want to talk about what we feel are some baits that kick ass, put some fish in the boat, Shh. but we got to keep it on the down low. Down low. <laughs> <laughs> So down low after the video. Yeah, whoa. Let's start out with this one because this really caught my eye. This is Garage Craft. Yeah, JDM. Shaky Chatter. JDM, Japanese domestic market is this what JDM. It's crazy. It's crazy. So it's a, it's a, let's talk about it. Go it's ahead. It's in the chatterbait family. Mm -hmm. But who has ever heard of a finesse chatterbait? They're rare. Pressured fish, right? Five Gs. Smaller size. Five grams. So you got to convert your grams to ounces, right, to know what you're throwing. Do you have your right? calculator? Hell no. You got to Google that, everybody. This is a nice collar, too, by That's the way. That's what I'm talking about, right? It's the number MS-171. A green pumpkin. That's a green so, pumpkin. So talk about it. Where would you throw this? So I'm going to throw this um, early spring. I'm going to throw it on drops. I'm going to throw it pre-spawn. Mm -hmm. I like it. Rocky terrain. Right here I am, folks, right here. Okay, can you see that, man? Okay, so it's got it's got a head, and it's got a football head. So, first of all, that makes it very unique, right? I've never seen a chatterbait with a football head, so it comes through rocky terrain really nicely. It's a conquistador tackle, little jig trailer. Um, so it's, it's kind of a jig, but it's got a shaky head aspect to it as well. But the blade gives it the vibration. So, very unique, man. I have caught some fish on this early season, mm -hmm. cold water, pre-spawn, throw it on drops. Rocky pre-spawn areas. Awesome. I'm digging it. I'm feeling that one. I don't know if you guys have thrown that. Love to hear in the comments below if you have. This Let's. One's, this one's pretty special. Where, where do you want to go next? Because the next <sighs> couple baits, the next four baits are going to be hard baits. Yeah. Uh, All right. Let's talk about the Bagley. Okay, Bagley, man. Everybody's heard of Bagley, but how many people have heard about the Biddy Bee? Mm. Small crankbait. Requires a spinning rod to throw it. Very light. Right? So when the fish get on shallow wood, pre-spawn mm -hmm. or spawn, they're getting ready to go. That bait, silver foil, black yeah. bag. You know, but that is bad to the bone, man. There is something about this bait with its tight wiggle. It's sneaky. It comes through wood. I like to put a five gami on this one. It just absolutely stones the fish. You can absolutely do this uh, in grassy areas and, and when they get on shallow wood. It's a great little crankbait. It catches the fish flat out. It's really a finesse crankbait. There you go. Because look at the size. Bagley. That is a tiny bait. Biddy B. Biddy B. Good Be luck cool. trying to find them, man. Are they that hard to find? They really are. E Even e eBay? eBay, they rarely come up in that color. Really? I only throw one color. That's the color. I've bought them in other colors, mm -hmm. but truly silver foil black back. And if you can find a gold foil black back, sure. Um, it's dynamite. So gotcha. Here's another little finesse crankbait, man. Ooh. Lures lure. Jerry Lures. Rest in peace, Jerry. He was a hell of a crankbait man. Man. Uh who made him famous? I think it was probably David Fritz. I don't know. David Fritz would crank those Jerry Lures. Lures like crazy hello but this is another little finesse crankbait again when they get on the shallow wood spring um a round bill contrary to popular belief round bills deflect as well as square bills and everybody like square bill square bill but a round build bait will do the same for you yeah right light test you can throw this on a bait caster 10 pound test shallow wood kind of a warming technique to, to crawl it through but this bait will have it has a, a unique flash when it stops, you can do a little twitch. It'll do a 360 and turn around, and it drives the fish wild. Dang. Little speedy. Very I did much. not know about this one. Yeah, man. But I see you got a nice collection of them. Hello. Dang. Here we go. All right, what else we got? Next one, man. Ooh. All right, so you know I'm in the JDM tackle, right? <laughs> so uh, I hunted for this bait for a long time, man. I found a, a few on eBay. It's almost impossible to find them anymore. It's a bladed crankbait. You heard me talk about bladed crankbaits earlier. 
I don't know which video is going first, so maybe you didn't. I don't know. If you didn't see that video, this is the video I'll talk about a bladed crankbait. But the, the Japanese manufacturers, they're, it's so crazy to me how they think about their baits and how they engineer them. So this bait has a blade attached to it. It does a couple things. adds a little flash, and it creates an erratic behavior with the crankbait. This is a real cover crank. So cover crank, what do I mean when I'm talking cover cranking? I'm saying you can jam this thing. It's like you a You can tank. crash it through whatever. Bingo, bingo. Not a great grass bait, but I'm talking hard cover. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's got a wide wobble to it. I like this color for the spring. You've heard us talk about red. Boom, that's the one. I love the gold flash on the blade. Super cover cranking. Foam bait. This is not balsa. It's foam. So it's dense. Think about it. When you're making a plastic bait that has mm -hmm. chambers for, for weights and rattles, right? you get a different density, but a fully foamed bait, there's no hollow cavity in here. Mm -hmm. It sends out, in my opinion, a different vibration, sure. right? It has a different sound resonance in the water. I know that sounds technical to people. I'm holding Arkansas shad color. That's what I'm talking about. Which is a bad bet. You gotta love it, right? So there it is, man, Nasheen. Beater. Can we find these anywhere? No, they don't make them anymore. I mean, he's, so Nasheen Lure works. You can find them on the web, but he's not making these anymore. He's making jerk baits. He's hand pouring some little okay. drop shot baits. His jerk baits are dynamite, but he's not making the beater series. I don't know. Maybe we can convince him. He did just make a new crankbait. It's released. It's called the Chippewa. And they Chippewa. do have that on Tackle Warehouse, but you gotcha. won't find the beaters gotcha. anymore. Okay, fair enough. That's a dynamite bait. What else we got? Oh, we're going to talk about this. Okay. This is called a suicide chat. It's a balsa rattle trap. Wow. You ever seen a balsa rattle trap? Not until today. I know, right? So they got uh, fast sink, slow sink, and... Uh, uh, I think they this do make a floater. Crazy. It is, man. So this little bait right here, look, it's a one-hook model. Check this thing out. I threw this thing through Bull Rush. You know what Bull Rush is? Yep. Right. I was amazed. I did not get hung up. How many baits can you throw through Bull Rush not that don't get many. Exactly. I mean, this thing was banging nose down off everything and deflecting. One hook. A mm -hmm. lot of guys will. That's a secret about rattle traps. They'll take one hook off the trap. Sure. And throw it through cover. Yep. And it becomes a cover cranking type of trap. Absolutely. You so can how, also put, you know, add a small spinner, give it some more flash. Sure. You know, one hook. Right on, man. Suicide but shad. Very interesting. Suicide shad. Mm -hmm. You can find these. No. You can't do Stop making them. No. I, I, I doubt can't you log could. into eBay. I think you should do a test right now. We might have to. Do it. No, we'll see. Pull up eBay. All right. I'll Why I'll... not try it? Let's okay. see if you can find it. While you talking. All right, man. Well, that's right. it, man. That's all. <laughs> oh, that's all you got. Well, no, for the top baits that you never heard of. All right. Right? I mean, we got different colors here. We got Red Crawl. Check it out. Mm. I like it. Fire Tiger. Fire Tiger's little, in there. Uh, purple Shad. Dude, I love the Royal Shad right here. Well, that Royal Shad would have a little bit different color in it, but I love the purple back on that, man. It just got a lot of nice flash to it. And, of course, for your, your murkier situations, I did put a feather, feather treble on that one, so that's what I'm talking about. Suicide Shad. Let's see. Well, there is, I'm not coming up with any. Yeah, exactly. Okay. That's why they're the top five baits you never heard of. Whew. Right? Mind blowing. Right. Try to find the beater. Nasheen Lure Works. You know what Nasheen Lure Works? Nasheen stands for? No. His Voice, last name. Voice of the Water. Voice of the Water. Voice of the Water. Learn something new today. There's some very cool videos on this guy. You can find this guy on YouTube. Perfect. As he's making his baits. But, I gotcha. Uh, these are pretty special, man. Awesome, awesome. All right, guys. Top five baits that you've never heard of before. Now you know. Now the goal is to try to find them, right? Right. Good luck. Let the hunt is on. You know, sometimes that's part of the fun. I think so. When you're collecting, when you're getting into fishing, when you're looking at different baits, stuff that you've never heard of. Right on. Stuff that you've never used. Right on. Someone's going to find them. They're out there. They're out there. I Rare, mean, they rarely come you up. own a bunch. Maybe you'll put them on eBay someday. Maybe so, You man. never know. Let me know in the comments below if you ever tried any of those baits. Let me know some other off-brands that maybe we've never heard of. Love oh, to hear about love it. love to hear about it. We can hunt for them, too. There you go. Thanks, guys. And until next time, we'll see you guys on the water. On the water.